Hey guys, so we have a battery test here between the Sony Xperia XE Premium, iPhone 8 Plus, LG V30, and Samsung Galaxy Note 8. All the phones currently at 100% battery and gonna be running in tests until they reach zero. So let's go and get started. For the first test, you start off pretty simple just on the settings menu. And you close out of all the apps, put all the phones in airplane mode, maximum brightness, everything else is equal. So we ran this test for about one and a half hours and now on to the results. As you guys see the iPhone in first place and the Sony in last, but of course still very early. So for the second test, we ran Temper on 2 for a couple hours, and this game really testing out the processing power on the A11 chipset on the iPhone and the Snapdragon 835 on the Androids. And real quick, here's a look at the battery size for all four phones. Um, the LG and the Samsung have the largest batteries at 3300 capacity, and the iPhone has the smallest one. Again, we're keeping all the phones at 100% brightness, and look at the results. Looking at the results so far, you see the iPhone in last place, 55%. And the LG V30 doing an excellent job in first place at 69%. Now I am biased, but I think that the third test probably the most important one here. Uh, streaming YouTube for one hour. And the results pretty consistent with the last test. You see the iPhone 8 Plus uh, going further down there, 31%, so further into last place. And the LG V30 maintaining its lead, but the Galaxy Note 8 right behind it. And we're about halfway done now. Another very important test here for the fourth phone, we have a camera test. And all the phones recording in 1080p full HD, uh, 30 frames per second, image stabilization is on, uh, everything else is equal. Now about halfway through, we got a low battery warning on the iPhone, let's close out of that. And looking at the results here, as you guys see, very consistent with the last one. Uh, the iPhone pretty close to running out of battery here at 50%. For the fifth test, another graphically intensive game in Asphalt 8. Uh, and for this one, the iPhone 8 Plus actually died about halfway through. Uh, we were running for around one half hours, but again, halfway through it, iPhone 8 Plus dies. And as you guys see, all three phones still have a lot of battery left, so huge advantage here for the Xperia, LG, and Samsung over the iPhone. Working our way to the end of the test, you see the Xperia almost dead here, 9% left, and the LG maintaining a very slight lead over the Galaxy Note 8. So at this point, it's pretty apparent that either the LG or the Samsung are going to win. Uh, so going back to the camera app, going to run them all until the Xperia runs out of battery. And it took about 12 and a half minutes, um, but actually it's now at 1%, automatically closing out the camera app. So I closed out the camera app, loaded up Asphalt 8, and the Xperia died pretty quickly after that. Uh, and here's a look at those results. You see the LG still in first place, maintaining a very slim margin. Now I let both these phones continue to run Asphalt 8 until one of them died. Uh, that ended up being about 50 minutes, and let's go ahead and listen into the final results. And there it is guys, the LG is one as you see the Samsung powering off. And let's take a look at how much is left on the LG. Alright guys, so there you have it, the LG V30 finishing in first place. As you guys see, 4% still left. And Asphalt 8 that ran for about 50 minutes on that last round. Alright guys, so overall extremely impressive performance here for the LG V30. Now, still a lot of battery tests planned, so let me know in the comment section below what phone you want to see included in the next round. So be sure to hit that subscribe button in the middle there for more videos in the future. And if you want, you can watch another video right now in the top left corner. And as always, thanks for watching.